Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC events. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom, 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 welcome, shalom, welcome. Shalom. Thank you, thank you, thank you for having us. Thank yes, you, sir. Most high Christ Most bless to all. Okay. So, um, what do you have for our listeners this afternoon? Where are we starting from? Well, the name of our organization, first and foremost, is Israel United in Christ. We were established in the year 2003 by Bishop Nathaniel. These are the deacons, and I'm a captain, and what we do, we, we go to various places where we teach the diaspora of our people. Who's the diaspora? The brothers and sisters right here in Ghana on the continent of Africa. All, right. so all praises. I'm Deacon Abiel. Thank you for having us today. We're here to teach that there is a hidden mystery here in Ghana. The people of the land, you so-called you so -called black people, are the Israelites. Those of you all whose ancestors went into slavery with slave ships, you are the children of Israel. And it's time for us to wake up and come back to God and his son, Jesus Christ, the black Messiah. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm Deacon Malachi uh, from Israel United in Christ. Right. We we been established for about uh, 2003 by Bishop Netanyahu, like uh, my brother Isaac said. Uh, we here to to show the people in Ghana a different side of the Bible. Okay. We here to show the people in Ghana that the Bible they thought they knew they actually don't know the Bible. The Bible they've been going to church every Sunday, learn from the pastors. They actually been lying to and we're gonna prove in the bible that people here in ghana they are the children of israel and we're gonna prove to you that you pastors been the churches they've been lying to us for over 400 years and today we're gonna show you the true the true color of jesus christ we're gonna show you show you who we are as a people mm -hmm. so we're gonna show you that all that in the bible all right so before we go into a uh, match into uh, the topic you know where in Kumasi can you be located? Where is it located, the church? Right now, we congregate at the Culture Center right here in Kumasi. Uh, today, actually, because today's the Sabbath at 3 p.m. 3 p.m. onward. We have service at 3 p.m. today. Yes, sir. At, at the Center. Culture Center. Yes, sir. Okay, so um, do you have criteria for those who be coming there? For first comers, just, just come on over. Uh, bring your pen, your paper, and your Bible, and your questions. All right. So... You said you are going to tell us much about the Bible, the hidden in the Bible, what we don't know. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think we have to start right now. Yes, you? sir. All right. Uh, do you, you going to translate for us? You said, are you going to translate for us? Or oh, yeah. Why you not? Got, okay. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's. Let me start. Uh, give me. Uh, give me Second Corinthians eleven four. Second Corinthians eleven verse four. Uh, for your brothers and sisters that's listening, you can uh, uh, take your Bible, uh, read with us, take a pen, pen, paper, and uh, just, you know, we all, I always say this, never never believe what the pastor told you. Make sure you read it yourself because you can read yourself. You go to school, so you can read yourself. That's, that's the only way you're not going to be lied to. So be, a lot of time, because we don't like to read, open a book and read. That's what people was able to fool us so easily. The work and say, and it's an union and your was as you saw your Kosuku no, and Pimpy, Diana, and Kofota, Eddie Tri and Drone say, Aya, you entire empacking kind, and Tia, we are among some of the book and the Bible. Don't make a piano, now watch it. 
na wonso wanka sa na kweken kan na wahu ni etua manka sa se ne be ya e bi obi antu futuro enwu ani so give me see uh, read the scripture tell them where you are this is the book of second corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4 uh-huh. for if he that cometh preacheth another jesus if he that come and preach another jesus somebody been teaching us another jesus the jesus in the bible that's not the jesus we've been learning about they've been they've been here in ghana we've been learning that jesus christ is a white man that's not in the bible that's it's not in the bible read whom we have not preached whom the apostles jesus christ they never paul they never teach the the Jesus that they give you guys in Ghana today. They never teach that Jesus. Okay. Um. Uh, can we your marking can seventy three Corinthians to four Roma? Nah. Uh. Please, can you repeat the verses for me? This is Second Corinthians chapter eleven and verse four. Okay. Corinthians to four Roma. Iti duba kuni yimu e four e four no e nine no. Uh. And how no we your marking can seventy eighty three in T. Almost say. Nyango po na. Mpmp you know. I be mem who are gonna memu who are more a preachy and as a mocano who ends and pa edit reno. And yes, and yanko pon and a mocano who ends and chain, no more babbage tray or Bible in Munti. A best yet for the Mumpe Masuna Munti. Read. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached, uh huh, or if he receive another spirit which he have not received. He in Ghana, we've been received a Jesus that's not in the Bible. That Jesus yoga has been received in Ghana come with different spirit. That's not the spirit of the Bible. That's not the Jesus that's in the Bible. We've been receiving in Ghana. Read. Which you have not received, or another gospel. Another gospel. The Jesus that you guys been hearing, been feeding here in Ghana, come with another gospel. The gospel, Jesus Christ died for everybody. That Jesus Christ is white. That's another gospel. That's not the gospel of the Bible. That's not the gospel Jesus Christ come and teach in the Bible. That's not in the Bible where Jesus Christ is white. That's not in the Bible. All right. The Omo Eken Yanan is a Yankopon now, Omo Eken Honsam, Eritrea, Bribiano, Ewa Yamemu, Titun Gana has a way a Brunino, and Yanukre, Nanakopon will be with the Mayenina. Now, who has sent here a pimping a soft for no Eka, Erifa, San Yankopon, Etre or Gana Hana, and yes, and Yankopon, and Omokan of Wasemo. You finish that? Which ye have not accepted, ye might well bear with him. Now give me a uh, uh, revelation. Now I'm going to show you guys here in Ghana what is the true image of Jesus Christ. The, now, uh, as as we can they, can they call? No, no. No, they cannot call. So my challenge to brothers and sisters here in Ghana, because I know a lot of you are going to go to church tomorrow. Ask your pastor... To show you in the Bible where Jesus Christ is a white man. And I will guarantee you, he will not be able to do it because he's not in the Bible. That's right. Okay. Or see, I'm a Christopher, you know, I'm quite sorry. Now, we'll throw challenge you, Eddie, I'm a Christopher, you know, I say, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a watcher now. We saw, oh, so funny, say, I ain't fun, I'm a check, 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 I'm a Na ubi anu ubi timi abeka sa semeno ana ubi timi abe provi sa a semeno edi achirenu. So now we're gonna prove to you, the people in Ghana, my brothers and sisters in Ghana, we're gonna prove to you that Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. Are you ready for the truth today? Are you ready? Ose ebi ya ya ewo Bible numo no ombe mana adane di edi achire yeti efu ni na se Jesus Christ no wey tun tun na. Say why ya hoboa TAB. Start at verse twelve. Revelation chapter one and verse twelve. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned I saw seven golden candlesticks. John, John, John walked with Christ. John was the apostle John. John said he saw a voice talking to him. He turned around to see who was talking to him, and he see a man in the middle of seven candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. In the middle of the candlestick, which is the Manoah, which is the Manoah, that's the Manoah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's what John saw. John saw a man standing in the middle candlestick, look like the Son of Man. So John walked with Jesus Christ. So if he sees Jesus Christ, he's going to know who he is, right? Mm. Go ahead, tell him. One like unto the Son of Man. Hold on, hold on. Sisi ya na omu ewo revelation na disem Na wase na 
John Enam baby. Now what you need na a friend with China, you know. Only a corner, a busa and say a Ibia acquiesce a me who's an amazing being general cry. Acquiesce rain if say if he can. <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? The one verse, you just shoot. Read verse, uh, read verse 14 again. Give me that picture. Give me those pictures. Mm -hmm. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. In the middle of the candlestick, one look like Jesus. Go ahead. Clothed with the... No, wait, hold on. Yeah. Uh, Revelation chapter 1 verse 13. Uh, hold on, Moses here. Now, I say... Eh, na eni pebi elbow chenku na muba akun na wase nyankopong. Read. Clothed with a garment down to the foot. So John, look at the man. He had a long robe all the way down to his feet. Na oni akono eche atadia eno aye tinti ache se afefedi ache se pimprani mayi bi uum ache se na ikusi ni nasi. Go ahead. And girt about the paps with a golden girdle. John, look at him. He got a gold belt on. Gold belt. Go, go belt, belt, belt. A belt. Okay. A gold belt. Okay. Now, when we say, just say, a ye the ebony mono ne ye sikakoko ena a ye belt sikakoko belt ena ne ebony mono. Yes. Go ahead. His head and his hair. Now, John, look at them in head and his beard. What did he saw? Were white like wool. John saw his head and his beard were white. Like wool, woolly hair. Mm. You ever see woolly hair? Yeah. White people don't have woolly hair. This man don't have woolly hair. Okay. Black people have woolly hair. You see your hair? Yeah. That's woolly hair. I got woolly hair. He got woolly hair. Yeah. This man don't have woolly hair. This is not Jesus Christ. Where's the camera? This is not Jesus Christ. That's not Jesus Christ. Okay. The men the Bible describe have woolly hair. Only black people in Ghana have woolly hair. White people don't have woolly hair. Go ahead. Okay. His now, what say John? A woman, no, 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 and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Because Jesus, Jesus Christ drank a lot of wine, read. And his feet. So now, John look at his feet. John look at the men's feet. Like unto fine brass. And his, his feet was like fine brass. Brass is brown. Brown is the color. Uh, brass. Brass is the color of brown. Mm -hmm. So when John look at the men's feet, his skin was brown. Go ahead. As yeah, now, if hold on, I see John. If you if you three suka can and ask no hair and ask no, none and ask no, a year brown, just say a year a haba moon a haba ya, a shiri kalebi, and an a yen and ask a senator a civet here. Go ahead. As if they burned in a furnace, John said the men were so dark it looked like he burned on a fire. So Jesus Christ is a very, very dark man, just like you, just like me, just like him. So Jesus Christ is the same color as people here in Ghana. Okay. Now, what's it, John? I share the circle of sin in our son. What we say, where you tune tune power now, what they say will be a year day a year, a year, a shin away, Jim, until where you tune tune power, what they say, me, I'm a tea, I'm a cast, you tune to me, and what they say, once I want to know how you tune to me, and Jesus Christ, you tune to me, to send me a brief, you know, say, Jesus Christ, to a year, Brunian, and you know, so now, the people after today, the people in Ghana have no excuse. This right here, where's the camera? This right here, this is the devil. This is not Jesus Christ. Yes, I say, this is the devil. The devil means deceiver. This is the devil. This is the man who come here, deceive the whole world, make people believe that this is Jesus. But this is not Jesus. That's the devil. So, Uko Facebook, we are in 96.2. And if you are in the HCC, you are in the HCC. 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 You are was say by Bono, the Ono, HM, say, or no, a year, just say, Bon Sam, or no, any devil now, Wabas, as you saw, or Baba, sister, and I say, or Dada, Yenyan. So go ahead, Deacon. So, what you should be asking yourself now is, what is it that I need to do now to be right with God? Because with that image came lies. They have taught us lies about the Bible. They did not tell us we were the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. 
Who are the children of Israel? Who are the hidden people here in Ghana? Go ahead, bro. What? I say, yes, sorry. I say, it's this year, no. The watch a chimney, see, I know. I didn't ask, yeah, yeah. It's and say, yeah, yes, 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 Jesus Christ, a ye be beneath at the set, yen yet, yeah, can say, yeah, and to dear, and I see, see, I know. I was, yeah, yeah, and you will be a one, no, and I, yeah, kind of more ends and pan out yet, no credit, crojano. So, what we're going to do right now is show you prophecies in the Bible that tell us that we are the Israelites. It's a simple process of elimination. If we read the curses in the Bible that God said he would give to the children of Israel, we will find out that God gave us a pathway back to find out who we are. Give me Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. Let's start at verse 15. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So right here we're seeing God gave us curses. God said if we didn't keep his commandments, he would curse us. And that's what happened. What has happened to our people today? We see that our people have adopted the ways and customs of the heathens that have enslaved us. They made us into homosexuals, into fornicators, into adulterers, because they said, it's okay, don't worry about it, Jesus came. That is not what God said. Homosexuality is wrong according to the Bible, the laws of God. It is sin. Read on. Matter of fact, jump to verse 46. God said because we did these things, he would put curses upon us. We're going to read some of those curses, but first I want to show you what these curses stand for. Read. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. God said the curses would be upon us for a sign to identify us. So whoever has these curses, you all that's listening right now, if these curses have been put upon your people, you are the children of Israel. And you must wake up to who you are and keep God's commandments. It says what? And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. And upon thy seed forever. You think you could translate all this, bro? <laughs> Please go on. No go worries. On. Uh, so, listen to me. This is by far the most important message you are going to hear in your life, Ghana. Citizens of Ghana, pay attention. Get out your Bibles. Find out what is the truth according to God because we've been lied to. We've been taught that we're Gentiles and not the children of God. We are the Israelites, brothers and sisters. It's time to wake up. Give me Deuteronomy 28, 68. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. So watch this. Ask your listeners, who, what people went into slavery with slave ships? Who did that happen to? Go ahead. Is that I should ask my listeners? Ask the listeners, what people went into slavery with slave ships? Who did that happen to? The black... Uh, the black the black men yes yes so watch this can you uh, translate that yeah, tra can you translate or no yeah ask yeah. ask them ask the question yeah like you say me for muti is here as a info for me don't come to us you know now uh i don't know what's me musa and it's a one casa or what say we're info for now maybe that's a more question say before you know we did so i'm going to come to us you know and what's me musa Good. Now watch this. I'm going to show you that that is Bible prophecy right here in the scriptures that the churches doesn't teach us. They don't tell us about our history that's found in the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Watch this. Listen up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With ships. God said he would bring us into Egypt, which is slavery, again with ships, again with ships. What? People on the face of the earth went into slavery with ships. It was you, Ghanaians. It was us over there in the Americas, African Americans, Haitians, the Dominicans, Jamaicans. All over the world, we were taken away as slaves on slave ships. Bible prophecy. Read that again, bro. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. It says we will be what? Sold unto your enemies. When we got to the destination of those ships, they sold us unto our enemies. They sold us to white 
people who did what? They raped our foremothers. They beat our men. They killed our children. They sold us into slavery. Go ahead. For bondmen. For bondmen, slave men. And bond women. And slave women. Slave women. This is our history right here in the Bible. Go ahead. And no man shall buy you. We had many men that tried to save us over in the Americas. Martin Luther King, your Malcolm X's. We had many people who tried to stand up and bring us together. Who was the brother that was here? Uh, Kwame Nkrumah. Many people who tried to bring us back together. It didn't work. Why? Because God's hand is against us because we broke his commandments. We must come back together and do what God said to do. Right now, right now is the time. Those of you all that's listening... Don't waste no time at all. Come back to God. This is your heritage. You are the Israelites that the Bible speaks of. Can you translate all that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we got here, when we got here on those slave ships, the white man gave us homosexuality. The white man gave us Christmas. The white man gave us Easter. The white man gave us all pagan holidays, all religions. I don't care if you're Methodist, Catholic, Pentecostal, Muslim, whatever. It's all confusion. It is not of the Most High God. What we're teaching, Israel United in Christ is teaching us who we are and to come back to God sincerely. The white man gave us this. Give me that same image. We just showed you that Jesus Christ, where's the, where's the camera? He is not, how you say it, Bruni? He is not a white man. Jesus Christ looked like you. You Ghanaians look like Jesus Christ, not the white man. It's time for us to come back to who we are and keep God's commandments and faith in his son. Get there right now to the cultural center. Run, get there and find out the truth according to the Bible. The time is near. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 61. Read. Also, every sickness and every plague which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee until thou be destroyed. This is why we're suffering from Corona. This is why we're suffering from all of these plagues, these sicknesses that plague our people to this day. High blood pressure. We have all these things going on amongst our people. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. It's time, brothers and sisters, keep God's laws. Keep God's laws. There's, there's a particular disease, sickness, which is plaguing Ghana right now, and it's called HIV AIDS. It's amongst the men. There's been an, a, a real high increase in men who have sex with men receiving AIDS. Guess what? Also, female sex workers in Ghana, there's been an increase in AIDS here. Mm. Why? Because they're currently breaking God's laws. You can find that law in the Bible where it says a man is not supposed to lay with a man. Let's read it for you. Before you read it, let him translate that. I want Go him ahead, to translate, translate that, that thing. Go translate. Ahead. Go ahead, translate that thing. Uh, what say? Oh, here and the young one. And yalewa aho do corona and afi crampon so no HIV could you ya diana? Oh, by a man to see ya quana se a caution, ninna and say, Emran semono, the commandment, you know, ya busso, and inti and in the young huni, young huni, and inti. I was saying, you know, sorry, na you huni, a yano coronan cassan, and yankupon. Enye bruni, nemum uyutuntum, 
wa the picture bi echre sa picture no o mo echre se eno ni nyankopon ni mo nyankopon enye bruni this is leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13 if a man also lie with mankind what was the first com commandment that god gave to mankind when God created Adam and Eve, what did he tell them? He said, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful and multiply. That was the first marriage. In order to multiply is between man and woman. Man and woman. God did not create Adam and Steve. He made Adam and Eve. That's right. You cannot procreate or reproduce or start a nation with two men. Two men butt naked in the room. All you're going to do is have the room smelling like doo-doo. God says that is against his laws. Read. If a man also lie with hold mankind. Hold on. Hold on. Mm -hmm. You got to translate that? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a uh, commandment, you know, and I watch him say, Did you kind? I was sad, name ransom, it do no mono. Did you kind of say, Chacon Conno say, young Emma, ya say, and Doris and Puanania. Nanny, bear money, bear Mamokoda, or Bano, or Bamokoda, ye bear a day, not assassin, ya won't yash soma. You said, the, you translated the whole thing. You yeah. said the doodle -doo part? Because that's important. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's what happens. That's what happens when you have two men sword fighting in a room. Okay? The man and the woman was created as a perfect puzzle. It's a puzzle piece that goes together. You have the penis, you have the vagina. God never meant it for two men to sleep with each other. That is filth. That is filth coming from the so called white man. Okay? Go ahead, translate that. Yeah, what's it sending Yanko Pon a boy in Nipano? Well Moya say Oba any bema in Tim Kunya in Shiamu, and I feel bema so any bema in Kuyan Shiamu, a sa in ye, Ninano, a quasibruni and a de abeshe Read verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind mm -hmm. as he lieth with a woman, mm -hmm. both of them have committed an abomination. God calls it an abomination. It is disgusting. Go ahead. They shall surely be put to death during the time of Moses. During the time of Moses, you were stoned to death. You were put to death when you committed this filthy act of homosexuality. God calls it an abomination, an abomination. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 61 again. Because now, because now you can't be stoned to death, mm -hmm. yes. right? Because yes. we're not under the Mosaic laws. We're under grace, under Christ. You got to repent of yeah. those things. Translate that. Well, see, uh, Oma, Oma, yes, uh in to moon to nefa wo I I you know. Most is a pen so crampono na ye two ma ye su ma bo e kum womo. Nan su ene ye yen tesa isan se ene e se ye kasa chro ni tu fo o nyan kupon e dimu na o sesa in inti most is a breso crampono na ye chiwa dia ne e tanya na chese e bom maya ubi ekwa ya ni sina bo nan su ene yen tesa ni yes ye nya yen se ye besa chra e de fisa ni manu. Go ahead. Verse 61. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 28, 61. Also every sickness and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. You can't find AIDS in the Bible. You can't find herpes, syphilis in the Bible. Those are sicknesses that happen to our people today. Why? Because they continue to break the law on marriage. Marriage is between man and woman. One, one husband, one wife. Not adultery. Not homosexuality. Right. Read. Them will the Lord bring upon thee. Now you wonder why the people of Ghana are sick. Why there's an increase in AIDS amongst men. Because they're practicing, they're, 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 they're acting out in this homosexuality, which is bringing upon sickness upon them. God says we're not supposed to do that. You want to alleviate the curses? Come back to God's laws. Right. Translate. I say we call trekunkunema, you need syphilis, and I say HIV, you need trekunkunema. Nam se and a awaria Yentias ye emma and ma any mema and warena or bema any bema and a ware or ba any bem uh bema and a ware no. Eno and I can be a massa ya de win na and so a dorson a was I see so. Hey the uh cap, give me first Corinthians fifteen thirty three. This this is another thing here in Ghana. Uh if you look at 
the history of Ghana. There was a time Ghana was the number one producer of gold. Mm -hmm. The best gold come from Ghana. Yeah. Right now, Ghana is the second biggest producer of cocoa. That's a, that's that's huge. So now, what you what your brother and sister you gotta understand how this work. This is how this work. Ghana have resource where if you look at the history of Ghana, Ghana have resource where your guys don't have to depend on foreign aid mm -hmm. to give you to give you to give you money. So now this is what happened when you depend on foreign aid. When you depend on America, the white man, to feed you, the white man's gonna make you accepted the same thing that's going in America, they're gonna bring it here. Yeah. I say, say, oh, yeah, Ghana, yeah, Bako, say, ma, Emra, a tremor, not Ghana, yeah, yeah, or my, I ban, say, good, pa, for my good, dear, pa, yeah, and I, yeah, 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 produce the door, next year, the quam, my whole door, a cotton, pa, and then, so, any, yeah, and Tessa, and I say, this year, and we are singing, and I, or my, or more, a produce, co, co, pa, Ghana, a tossum, you know, na or my, Ghana, ya, che, eh, che, say, Resources, pa, do much a dear fan, say good diamond, is animal, man. Ya chair do do na, and so, and I'm seeing who's with you, you know. A bibiano, ya dear, you a brofono so. A brofono so, when you call to a brofono, say, ban, say, America, and that's a mom caca hona. The essay, or more a and would you two more ho and sana, or more more be a multi-me edia boil. Now, read the scripture. Yes, sir. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33. Be not deceived. The Bible said, be not deceived. Evil communications. Evil commu homosexuality is evil. Be not deceived, people in Ghana. Evil. Homosexuality is evil because there's a law right now. I heard in Ghana right now they're discussing to legalize. You see that they're trying to give. They try to what? Uh, there's a penalty. There's for a committing that act five to ten years. You have people that's for it and you have people, people that's, that's against it. it. When the Bible is actually against it. The Bible yes. is against homosexuality. This is what happened when you accepted for an aid. Mm -hmm. You hey, uh how to say it? You 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 let the devil feed you. Mm -hmm. Now the devil, you're gonna have to pay the price now. Yes. This is what happened. That's why we tell you, this is the devil. Yep, this is what this is this is what happened when your guys accepted this. When your guys go to church worshiping this, mm -hmm. this bring all type of spirit, homosexuality, lesbianism, uh 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 what else? On top of disease, yep, adultery. AIDS, yep. uh, adultery. Mm -hmm. This way on top of this. This is what happened when you accepted money you're not supposed to take. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go ahead. Omo can can a year Corinto phone on my it dunum ni yumu and the assamians and now say hono a hono or chim say and come bone a say or brapa na say oh hona so mobi be dad now. And yet one casa at the APA, Ubuhu and Hong Aman, and till you be Nasa abbreviated when you told Abrofo, Emwa, 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 Soa, a be any a year a picture, you know, the HS, or Modi Yanko Pon, and I see Jesus Christ, so we bruni, and I have a share corner, and in tea, or more and some more air cafan on home, and I feel some more yer giddy from Winiano. See a giddya, never said the agent, and yen, as ye knew two a home eka, and to say a bonnie cra, and only as ye two a home can be any a year homosexualism, Abagan, I see ya, and I'm so ye don't who bail, I walk to Parliament, as he no. Ye do so do so no, I be more supportive, be more unsupporting. Finish the scripture, yes, sir. It says first, first Corinthians fifteen verse thirty three. Be not deceived. Be not deceived. Evil communications corrupt good manners. <laughs> the, the, the scripture speaking for itself. He said, be, "Don't be deceived. Do not be deceived, because right now in Ghana, your guys have been deceived." With all type of filth, all type of wickedness, your guys have been deceived. The Bible says, "Do not be deceived." Hey, uh, Cap. Yes, sir. Give me uh, uh, what is that? Uh, Hosea four. Hosea four and six. Why right quick? My last verse. Give me, give me that. Then I turn it to you guys. I wish I have one penny for you. No more change. Come away. I'm on a year. I saw for no more penny for. I'm on a free Israel. 
United in Christ na oba kumasia sentiment mu akocha center ana omosum sisi omose wiye bo no miensa 3 pm ya omo ekwa kwishia ho na bible mu nsema omo echechire mu sey ya no unsu betimi akoho bi na chese wo challenge bi a wo di akoho wo kwa odi book ene open akoho na de ombeka no unsu wo challenge bi a no true e de mo mti mu ensem bi ana ewiye ye ka ka mu nsem na ene omo topic no omo se eh who are the israelite ana afen so say what color is jesus eno hu na igusu a ebobo hu na no ti besere mo ma fide ne nkoso na ya wo echinye gbi be sem se 3 pm betima kokocha center na no mo akwa kwa we so ho yes sir this is the book of hosea chapter 4 and verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge so the bible said god said my people you brothers and sisters in ghana you are god people you are a holy people that's who you are don't get deceived you are a holy people god said you are destroyed for what lack of knowledge what is the knowledge the law mm -hmm. that's why they can come here that's why the women can come here pushing all type of sin on your guys and your guys accepted why because your guys don't want to keep god's laws mm -hmm. god said your blood is in ghana you destroy for lack of knowledge for not keeping his laws read because thou has rejected knowledge because your guys rejected god's laws in ghana read i will also reject thee god says going to reject us and don't think that don't think your guys here in ghana is the only thing is the only one got 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 rejected mm -hmm. us in america the same thing in haiti the same thing jamaica the same thing all to the caribbean all to the island is the same thing because we don't keep god's law god destroy us that's why you see what's going on in ghana today that's why you see what's going on so the bible said don't be deceived read the whole thing please i will also hold on hold on yes sir well, send ye all canon. I say, Omo e guso mo kasare fa e adadan ho ensem na Omo e chemu se nimdia me ma ni inti ni ebre e inti o se se nimdia yen sheda MP attention as yen fe ni eni e chiri inti no. Amani yeme bibre o hua yen ye every fra e wo hon e wa sasi so na se nyanko pon se uyo biya opona sape pepe ono non so ebe po inti ene di ye hun wo man gane mu se si ya no e ya suwa dinya ne mran se mo no yen fe ni eni suwa ye di we are Israel united in Christ. We are the prophets of the Most High God. We That's were right. sent here to warn you, citizens of Ghana, Jesus Christ is coming. Christ is coming, and he is not happy with us. He is not happy with us adopting the ways of the so-called white man. You have been forced to worship this image. Give me Revelation 13. Yes, sir. You have been forced to worship this image image and to believe this was jesus christ this is a lie this is the devil that the bible speaks of read that revelations 13 read verse 15 yes sir and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast the so-called white man edom the edomites that's what god calls them they had power to give life to this image they gave life and said, this is Jesus. This is your Lord and Savior. Not a black man. Jesus doesn't look like you. You're a Gentile. And they took us away from our heritage and our culture. Now's the time for you to wake up and to come back. It says that he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. Read. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. It says they had power to cause this image to speak in your movies, on TV. Who do you see depicted as Jesus Christ? The Abruni, the white man depicted as Christ. It's not you. It's not someone that looks like you because that's what Jesus really looked like. And guess what? Through this image, our people are destroyed. We just read the scripture. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Why? Because we reject the knowledge. We reject what Jesus Christ really looks like and what he really taught. Citizens of Ghana, wake up. Now is the time. Go ahead, Captain. I say, Ghana this year, you know, now we to say, I was say, Tijanani, sorry. It's an say, say, Osha, Abrofono, movie, cinema. 
eh die e den be jina mu sa Jesus Christ ne pempi na yemfo nyi no de e chere chere e wo Facebook no eh Jesus Christ ya bribi ye nim ne ya ani tinwi egu no no e no na abrof nde bia mu yi no movie mu se e Jesus Christ na enso enye ono no Jesus Christ no Jesus Christ no e no tuntum na wo de nimfo nyi e chere ye e wo camera no so no enti no e wo se e bre na wi edu se nyi na ne beti e jina ne ya sori na ya me ya ni ada ho e san se ya dada ya che nim dia ye ninti no ya yira Revelation 14, verse 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. Many of you, all of you that are not keeping God's commandments, you have received this mark. You have bound your allegiance to the so-called white man and his theologies, his religions, his democracies, his ways, and have not submitted yourselves to the righteousness of God. He's caused many to receive the mark. The mark of the beast isn't talking about a chip that's going to go in your arm or in your shoulder or in your forehead. It's talking about what you are doing now, who you are worshiping. Go ahead. Or in their forehead. Come on. Verse 17. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name what does america do whenever you don't do what he says when you don't worship his images when you don't accept him as being god when you don't accept his him as being your lord and savior they cut you off they've come here they've taken your resources mm -hmm. they've stripped your gold they have taken your people into slavery some of you forgot about your people who were taken away we're the same nation mm -hmm. we're the same people it's time for us to wake up if you don't worship this image what do they do they cut you off they set sanctions upon your people upon your nations you no longer are able to do businesses with them do right now we've seen in, in the store if you don't worship the image if you don't keep christmas what, what happens to you they cut your people off and take everything away from you we got to take the power away from them come back to the lord and savior jesus the christ the black messiah not the bruni that's right yeah, the uh, send a free and come upon us, and on per se, a tears, yes, a Brunina and yes, Jesus Christ, and you know, na a tun to monontino. Yomo e canyon, and I say, Breno, send a make an asso say, even who no crane, watch the concunumono, na ye dear chin, a team abway, na ya dada, ya che, and I feel so no, I can kind any name dear yin into no, ya yera ache, but at this juncture, we would like to take course. From sure, our listeners, absolutely. maybe Good. some of them might have uh, yes, opinions. Absolutely. So. Okay. Okay. Um, I was your phone to your Israel United in Christ. Our book, Kumasi, or more culture center, and you know more a bonk commodity. See, I know a brofon qua, a brofon qua. You name, sir, Oko Facebook, and you saw a nipper air, papa, papa, papa. Yeah, yeah, for course. Ye ni msa ehdi ya because uko Facebook ni sisi ya adani chini waho ebi mo adani debate waho ebi mo se enokre ebi mo se njia enokre entino yidi ni se ebi mo enso awo ada opinions enti ye ye fa course na mosto mabio nchi na mama omo so eti matena zero two four six six seven seven five six six zero two four six six seven seven five six six and afi zero five zero two Six six seven seven one one zero five zero two six six seven seven one one. You best say, "Mumbi tima free si si e na onso wa bintu lebiya onso wa timi ede aba." Ana question bimpoa. Hello. 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 Please sound off. That the Bible says, "Jesus Christ." Hello. Hello. Hello, Jesus Christ came from Ghana. Um, Mipacho, can you position yourself where you were? You, Pacho, I'm okay. Yeah, I feel it. Yeah. Uh -huh. The Bible says Jesus Christ came from Nazareth, the town called Galilee. So, let us trace to those who are in Galilee, either they are black or white. So that I can believe it. So, if I want to believe, let us trace to those who are in Galilee, Nazareth. If they are black, then I will believe it. What are you are saying? So, if black is black, so black is so not. Hello? Hello? Yeah, okay. hold on. I think he's answering the question. the question. Say this. He's saying, because Jesus Christ comes from Nazareth, the people from Nazareth is not black. 
That's what you're saying. So he, he's not black because he's come from Nazareth. That's what you're saying? Yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah. yeah. Well, let me show you something. Give me give me the Deuteronomy 2. Please be a word. Give me the, no, give me the Deuteronomy, uh, not Deuteronomy 2, Revelation 2. I'm sorry. Give me Revelation 2. I want to show you something. The people in Israel today, they are not the original Hebrews. They are not. They are imposters. I'm going to repeat that again. The people in Israel today, by the way, there is no such a thing as Jewish. There is no such a thing. The word Jew, the word Jew come from the word Judah. We are the real Jews. The people over there in Israel today, remember, Israel is the name of a person, not a country. Keep that in mind. Our forefather Jacob have to have sons. God, God changed Jacob's name to Israel. Jacob have to have son. We in Ghana, he in Ghana, we are one, we are we are part of the 12 sons of Jacob. We are Judah. He in Ghana. Keep that in mind. I'm going to repeat that again. Israel is a name of a person first, not a country. All Trusted right. what I said. Give me the just give me the scripture. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, Minya of Frey, yeah. Meaning uh said what the MI and see Israel and Kasano, first of all. And yet, country name name of you be I think that is what you said. Israel is not a Israel is not a country. It's the name of a person. It's the name of a person, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's uh, yeah. Send your watch and sub or see Israel. No. First of all, and yet, or my a d name of a you be ding. Yes. And I think that that is all. The Hello? people. The people. There is two color people. You see there. You see it's a black or white. They call it, they call it, actually, it's not black or white, it's brown or red. We are brown. We are different shade of brown. No, no, brother, hold on a minute. I'm going to read you the scripture. This is what God said about the people that's over there right now in Israel. This is what Jesus said about them. Read. This is Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. So Jesus Christ said he know our poverty. Are we, are we here in God in poverty? Hell yes we are. Jesus said he know our poverty. Read. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Jesus Christ said those people over there in Israel right now who say they are Jews, they are not there with Jews. Who are they? But are the synagogue of Satan. Jesus Christ said they are the devil. Right here. Right here. Where is, where is the camera? Jesus Christ said this is the devil. Those are the people right now that's in the land of Israel. Jesus Christ said they are the devil. They are not the real Jews. That's what Jesus Christ, the black Messiah, said. And guess what, brother? If you believe in Jesus, you're going to go what the Bible says. If you don't believe in Jesus, you're going to say, well, color doesn't matter. Oh, you don't know what color it is. Hey, the people right now, they are not the original Jews. Do your history. And it's a what you say, or more more what Israel is a or more the original Jews, and no, it's a CIA, no I think we have another caller. Uh, hello? Hello, Hey, Okay. Hey, Alright. <laughs> What he is in that one, you know, I have a a man, a man, I a Wow. <laughs> uh, Hello? Yeah. Hello? Yes, sir. Maybe I just said, I'm sorry, Pa. I said, I'm sorry. Why? Why are they here? Why are they here? Why are they here? Uh-huh. Why are they here? Why are they here? Why are Okay. Hello, I don't say anything. And I go for no. Two minutes, I walk as if I want to be for my life. Yana, you could have a forty. Not only not have a fear for. I don't mean to have a fact. Well, I think what 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 he's trying to say is why is it that oh, uh, the white people always 
uh, uh, always portray a picture of Jesus Christ as white. And always uh, there is other, uh, other argument that Jesus Christ is also a black man. He's so you're saying that his question is, why the white men, when they do the movies, mm -hmm. they, put the, they put the white men as Jesus, they yeah. put the black men as the devil? Yes. That's his question. Yes. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83 and verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thine hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. This is why this was the agenda behind them changing the images. They changed the picture. They changed the images of the true Israelites to hide your heritage and your culture. There is a secret buried deep here in Ghana, and it's the people. You are the true chosen people of God. They make movies to trick you into thinking it's them, to take you away from your true heritage and culture and to make you think you're a Gentile. Why so Satan continue can, can continue to rule this earth? When the prophecy, prophecy tells you when the Israelites wake up to who they are, Jesus Christ is coming back. When we are sealed, Christ is going to come and deliver us. They're trying to slow that down. Senior Walker, was say a brofono, nam some person more dad in the bia no se video man as a movie mono. Na o my yanko pon se bruniti se womwa senior bribia ni bum shonko. Na o mama yeni a bibifono, ya ye ya yet to set bon sam o movie monitina de biano, ye etisan and tia da da anna or mo edi da diano, and ti and omoka se yan soreno. Eh yanko a homano sonye. Hello Hello Yes sir. Hello. Afternoon. Hello? Okay. You are going to be watching, is it? As a woman, I'm not saying that I'm going to say Jesus was a black man. Now, the original argument is that the black man was a dancing as I could go to you, but I could go to you, Israel. And that is that hormone, and also I get. All right. So um, he's asking that you are saying you guys are saying say, Jesus Christ is black. Why is it then he's originating from uh, Israel? Let me get that. Let me answer that. Israel is in North East. Take out a map. I need you guys to go on a computer, get a book, open it, and read. Stop letting Obruni dictate your thoughts. Israel is in North East Africa. Africa. Where is Egypt, young man? Where is Egypt? You, that question is for you. Where is Egypt? Egypt. Or, matter of fact, is he still on? Is he still on the line? Yeah. Ask him a question. Ask him, where is Egypt? North of Africa. Northeast Africa. Yes. Moses was second to Pharaoh where? In Egypt. They walked out of Egypt. Prior to Moses, the children of Jacob walked from the land of Canaan, also known as Israel today, into the land of Egypt. We always moved back and forth from Egypt to Israel. Israel is part of Africa. Let's show you that. What's Psalms 105? There, uh, there is no such a thing as the Middle East. That's something the white man made, created. There is no such a thing. They call Israel to the Middle East. It's not in the Middle East. It's in Africa. Get a map. Jeez. Tell them that. Middle East. There is no such a thing as the Middle East. That's something the white man created. That's a, that's a word the white man created to confuse people. Israel is actually in Africa. All right. Uh, was say uh, Israel, uh, yeah, Africa. Now, nah, Middle East, now, they be in Africa. And yeah, uh, uh, Repeat it again, please. <laughs> there is no such a thing. You know how they said Israel in the Middle East? That's not true. Okay. Mm -hmm. Israel is actually in Africa. Mm -hmm. That word Middle East did not exist into what? The folies? The, the, okay. What is that? Into the folies? The, the early uh, okay. 1900s. The old, early 1900s. That's mm -hmm. when they created the word Middle East. That's not, that's not history. There is no such a thing. Okay. Israel is part of Africa. Is in Africa. Oh, Get see, a map. I see Israel, a year Africa. Now you need a brofanan cassette and say that critics are a Middle East. You need Middle East to be Israel, Israel, Africa. 
Psalms 105, verse 23. Go ahead. Verse 23. Mm -hmm. Israel also came into Egypt. Israel also, meaning Jacob, Israel also came into Egypt. They walked into Egypt. They didn't fly. There was no planes back then. They didn't take a boat. There was no Suez Canal. They walked into Egypt. Go ahead. And Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. Before it was called Africa, it was called the land of Ham. The land of Ham. The Bible says that Israel sojourned in Egypt. We look just like them. Matthew 2.13. What happened when Jesus Christ, when Herod, put a decree out to kill all the young children. Where did Mary and Joseph take Jesus and run and hide? What country? Where did they go? That's the question for you. You. <laughs> Ask the caller. Ask the caller. Is he still online? No. Okay. So that's for everybody. Where did they go? The Bible tells you. Matthew 2, 13. Verse 13. Mm -hmm. And when they departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt and flee into Egypt. Why? Because they could hard hide amongst the other dark nations. They could hide amongst the other dark nations. The Egyptians, the original Egyptians are black. The Israelites are black. It's all throughout the Bible. But you've been deceived. You have been deceived by that image right there. Hold that image up again. You have been deceived by him. That's why in the book of Revelation 13, verse 15, we read it earlier. They should have power to give life to the image of the beast. And the image of the beast shall what? Speak. How do they make the image of the beast speak? In his movies. In his comic books. In his pamphlets with words. And all of Ghana, all of Africa have been deceived. But not only you, our brothers in America, our brothers in the Caribbean island, wherever the Most High scattered us, we all have one thought. You know what that thought is? That Christ is a Bruni. Mm. Christ is a so-called white man. The Jesus Christ of the Bible has always and will always be a black man. Brothers and sisters of Ghana, it's time to unite. It's time to unite. That's what all the revolutionaries was trying to do until they were what? Assassinated! Mm. A Bruni killed each and every one of them or exiled them. Like Kwame Nkrumah and the Big Six. Look what happened to them. Look what happened to Thomas Sankara, Patrice Lumumba, all throughout the continent of Africa. We have been assassinated. Why? Because we wanted to unify our people. The Bible commands us to unify. Zephaniah 2 verse 1. Translate that. Translate that to the callers. Come on. Go ahead. Zephaniah chapter 2 and verse 1. Mm -hmm. Gather yourselves together. God is commanding us to gather together the 12 tribes of Israel right here on the continent of Africa. Go ahead. Yea, gather together, O nation not desired. O nation not desired. There's no nation on earth that desires us to gather together. Because once we start to gather together, that's going to usher in the second coming of Jesus Christ. Right. A lot of these men understood that. They didn't have the truth as far as the commandments of who they were, but they were still trying to unify. Thomas Sankara, Kwame Nkrumah, they were trying to unify. Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, they were trying to unify the black man. Ibruni, the white man, Esau, they call him, Edom, in the Bible, he doesn't want that. God is commanding us to gather together, but under one banner, the banner of Israel. As the Israelites, not under these denominations, not religion, God calls us the Israelites. Read on. Before the decree bring forth, before uh -huh. the day pass, as a chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord. Before come up the fierce anger of the Lord. Zechariah eleven fourteen. last scripture. <laughs> then I want you to translate. Okay, God says before I destruction. Be, I think this one will be the last. Hey. Okay, so 
All right, so before destruction, uh, understood, before destruction, God is commanding us to unify. No more white Jesus, no more Bruni. Those of you listening, please follow us at www.israelunite.org, www.israelunite.org. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.